there, then he get uncomfortable, then he got to pump his chest out to show that he's, you know, an alpha male. He's not with the shit because being gay with me, so, supposedly. I don't know what it he is. Did I say no dick? Give it to me, Draco. Give it to me! No! No dicks. No dicks. No dicks. You heard a lot. No dicks, Draco. No dicks. Anyways. He called them. Okay, okay, so you can, you can have it. You can have the dick. Uh huh, bitch, try again. Okay, now I look like one of them niggas. All right, that's a little better. What's going on, Insane Gang? This is me. You're back again with another video, sis. It's been a little minute since I've been on YouTube. As you can see, baby, I'm still a pretty ass bitch. So, <laughs> new other than, you know, my sound, see my music career is definitely taking off. I don't know if you've been seeing, but across the interwaves and across the motherfucking social media, bitch, the streams is going up, the performances are busting, the girls is twerking, the niggas is living. It's just giving what it's supposed to gay. Today, we got the hammer because, bitch, we have a bitch on the docket that we need to clock. My girl Money Moolah from motherfucking Bad Boys Club, you know, with the shits. I definitely want to do episode reviews, y'all. Literally, I was at work yesterday, and this boy came up to me because I'm a bartender. Now, I used to do security, but now I do bartending and shit, bitch. I make so much money. It was like, oh my God, bitch, I, be, I used to watch you on YouTube. And I'm like, used to? Used to, bitch. I'm going to start giving y'all what y'all want and what y'all need. So, the, the Bad Boys Club reviews are on the way, and they are coming. Um... I definitely will be doing reviews on the the, the Lex collection. Yes, yes, yes. About money moolah, money moolah. Come, come, come to the stage, bitch. With y'all, all, bitch. With y'all, with y'all camouflage head to toe outfit. Y'all seen the outfit he had on? Bitch, that bitch had socks, shoes, shorts, shirt, hat, everything match. That's how I was niggas dressed. I was niggas is the gayest niggas in Chicago. So you giving me DL vibes anyway. So if y'all have not been keeping up with the Bad Boys Club series, um, there is a dude on there. He's a DL bottom. So you know you have the you have the the white you know the prissy gay you know the when we get into shit. Then you got the white Benji gay that's like all with the hair tied up and the lanai and the fucking bodysuit looking a fool everywhere he go. You know it's it's, it's those. Then you have um. Where the money reside, he's like the, the messy, you know, loud one that's gonna do so much and just like, you know, be the center of attention. Then they got my girl Gutta, you know, Gutta's the pretty bitch, the pretty bitch that can fight. Like, if, I, if I was on there, I would probably give you very much so Gutta bad because, like, I don't feel like nobody there would really have an issue with me. So I won't feel like it would be like, I wouldn't really do much but just sit and look cute every day and just every, all the niggas just like, how, how niggas do me while I'm here? Like, niggas usually just put me on a pedestal. Like I'm a girl and just be like, oh well, this is Jalen, so we not gonna fuck with Jalen because Jalen is a whole thing in itself. Like how good is the whole? He's just him own person. Then we got Milan, who's like the the um the jock um gay that like probably get fucked like all through the streets of everywhere. But Milan, I live for him because he gave me Chicago back because he stood up for Dylan, so I fuck with that. And then we got um who the fuck with the one with the, the short one with the beard i don't know his, I, he's the other straight one but he like the dl top like you know because like you know short things like that they don't like to be bottles because like they already feel the type of way about they all they already insecure so you're not going to be insecure and then be over and get fucked because like you know that's just that's not gonna go for them so they probably just like thinking oh as many bitches as i fuck this is just as tall as I think I am. So he probably fucking so many bitches. And he probably fucking a couple trans girls too. So like, you know, he the nigga that's probably, a, he probably a DL top. I'll give it to him. Then we got my boy, um, what the fuck, um, what the fuck was that boy name? The one who got the, um, fucking, what the fuck is that bitch name? Girl, the one who at home who was like, um, stop calling me sick. <laughs> the, uh, the gay one, the bitch, the one who was like, um, Bitch, I'm delivered. The delivered boy. He went home the first day, as he should, because they were gonna bake him out. He was he was scared. So I, I understand what it was gonna get with him, cause bitch, you was just came to talk shit and then you tried to cash the check and went the fuck home because you know they were gonna beat your ass. I understand that. Uh, the cast members and we have my girl on a docket. Mr. Money Moolah. Mr. Moolah Moore. Morris Moolah the Mo. More money moolah more. More, mo, 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 moolah, more with the money. I don't know what the fuck he want to go by, but the niggas is weird. First and foremost, this takes me back. I was in school and like people was always like, actually, if I even knew what gay was, people would ask me like, oh my God, like, are you this? Are you this? Are you this? And I'm just like, what are you talking about? Like, what, what does that even mean? And it's like, they definitely just gave me like flashbacks. What is, what is like, why is it such a 
whisper, whisper, whisper when it comes to somebody being gay, but it's not whisper, whisper, whisper when it comes to y'all touching people's kids. I don't get that. Black, I'm gonna I'm, I'm come for the black people first. In black families, there's a lot of motherfucking old ass, purple ass uncles and, and um, dads and shit that be touching their daughters and shit, but they still get to come to the cookout. Ain't no whisper, whisper at the cookout about the about the about what what Eugene did last week, but we also whisper, whisper, whisper about what what a bitch stuck in the fucking up. So. I just feel like this man is definitely in the closet. We're gonna just start there. Moolah is not ugly. I'm not gonna ever sit home and you know play with no bitch face. He's not an ugly dude. Like he don't look like he don't look like you know he don't get no bitches. But at the same time, the niggas that get so many bitches, like what bitches just be throwing their pussy at them 24/7, they get tired of pussy. And let's talk about it, y'all. Y'all know this is my channel, bitch. We ain't been here in a minute, but we gonna talk about it, bitch. Them fanny ass niggas that be fucking. You see the nigga that's, that's the fanny nigga fucking like 30 bitches and 40 bitches and all the bitches around. He doing all the money every night, going out, popping bottles, everything. Them be the niggas that be like, damn. I fuck a new bitch every night. I need something new. And then it's so another thing, like, I already felt them bad when they came in the house and Gutter came in his room and they like, he like, oh, y'all go, go, go on with the other shit. This is my bed. This. This will be it. That's why I didn't need to be there, because y'all know I, I like to get into it with straight niggas. I don't fight the gays like that. The gays don't like me either, but I usually fight straight niggas. And when Mula said on that bed, oh, y'all, y'all, this is my bed. Oh, oh, so you think because you a straight nigga that you say, you think you got the biggest ball just because you were here eating pussy. That make you the, that make you the untouchable. You just, you just a, the king of this bitch, huh? Okay, baby. And that would have been the first bitch I ran up on. That's why they that's why they needed to catch me. Because I probably wouldn't have found when I, once I seen that it was straight niggas there, I wouldn't even want to try to fight no gay stuff. I would have instantly start talking shit to the straight niggas. Because usually in this situation, when it's a whole bunch of fucking straight niggas around, y'all love to I love I'll jump on one gay person. So let's let's see what's gonna do, bitch. This a whole bunch of other gays and it's only two y'all. Bitch, I'm finna terrorize the fuck out you bitches. Cause you bitches wanted to terrorize me at one point. And it's not even that, like, I'm going to come out there with the energy, but that's the type of energy they was giving. They was giving, you're going to be over there, you're going to be over there. So that's a war. It's two sides of war. Now, I'm saying if we all come to the house united as a group, then there's no sides. But, bitch, when you have a side and a side, then, bitch, there's conflict, and it's a war. So if you hoes want war, puff. If a bitch won't smoke, puff it up. That's the hell would have went up in the house, because after that, after the first after the first scene when a, when a nigga said, no dicks, no dicks over here, it's no dick. Like, you saw a couple saying the word dicks. You literally could just say, like, Oh yeah, I'm in the house, you know, I'm my my preference is like I I like women, so like, you know, it won't be nothing like that. Like just respect me. You know? This nigga come out, no dicks. No dicks, no dicks. No we <laughs> We don't need you to like We don't need you to keep saying dick. That that means house first of all. My dog is crying. I'm gonna I'm gonna let him up here. See, this why you this why you was where you was at. This why you just coming here just tearing shit up. Sit sit down. Come here. Sit down. Sit, sit. 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 No move. Sit. Yo ass gay. Anyways, basically, when Moolah was in the house, he seen that he became uncomfortable because like he thinking now like all oh, damn all the niggas gonna be thinking about me being with all these gay niggas. And they gonna be trying to clown me back at home. Cause you know the New York niggas, how the New York niggas is. Like they try to like think, oh, the smallest thing you mean that you were obviously gay just because you like hang around some gay people. So now he's thinking about his image. He not thinking about trying to fucking suck. He's thinking about what these niggas at home finna think about him when they get to running this shit back. So the simple fact that you're that upset about it, or the simple fact that you're that moved by the next person thing shows me that you're not comfortable with your sexuality. He goes, okay, Draco, make your cameo, period, period. Show them hoes what you been on. My girl got big and chunky. She ain't the same little baby she was when y'all seen her last half. She biting bitches now. Ain't that right, Draco? She said, I'm biting bitches now. Just like how my friend Will is. Like, everybody on my channel know who Will is. Will is a straight man. He don't like boys. And it's the fact that, like, he comfortable in the sexuality enough that, like, if Will was on that show, that would never even came up. Like, I'm pretty sure dudes would try to fuck him. But he would just be like, nah, like, I'm not on there. Like, nah, 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 nah. Like, he just, he just, that's just being comfortable with who he is. Like, he don't have to sit here and be, no dicks. No, Draco, say no dicks. No dicks. No. No dicks. No dicks. No dicks. Draco, no dicks. This is a dick. You cannot have it. No. No dicks. No dicks. Like, he just was feeling like at home, he had a reputation to uphold and upkeep for being a dude with all the girls. And then it's like, now you was a dude with all the girls, and now you come in the house for the gay niggas. So now he just like, 
Now I gotta punch somebody. Him and what's the name? Curry on start getting into it. And they look at him. Look, look, look at him. No dick, Draco. Now him and Curry on getting into it. And he yelling, he like, oh wow, this is my opportunity to show my man it was off the show that I'm not gay. He fucking bumps with motherfucking Curry on and crunch him in his shit. He won't even look at him. Crunch him in his shit, start beating his ass. That's a literally the step-by-step -step factor of a deal in the life. You can see, like, first he get there, then he get uncomfortable, then he got to pump his chest out to show that he's, you know, an alpha male. He's not with the shit because being gay with me, so, supposedly. I don't know what it he is. Did I say no dick? Give it to me, Draco. Give it to me! No. No dicks. No dicks. No dicks. You heard Mula. No dicks, Draco. No dicks. Anyways. He pumped the damn off that. Okay, so you can, you can have it. You can have it. <laughs> he feeling like what? Because now everybody looking at him and saying he's wrong. And now he got to really pump his chest out. Because not only is everybody saying he's wrong, but they also feeling like, you know, he DL because he keep asking the question over and over again. So now he put on the spot to be in DL. So that was his, the niggas that his house was thinking about back at home is now being spit, staying and verbalized. And now he lashing out and now he got to fight. And I do respect Milan because Milan, you can see he is from Chicago because we are very well-spoken people. I would say some of us are. But he from the South Side because I knew I knew about him when he was back in the day. So because he older, but when I was a little bitch, I knew of him because bitch, I was on social, social media for a minute. Just how he fought Dylan for I mean just just how he fought like where the money was at. Because of Dylan, like he went up there the next morning and just explained to them what they was wrong about and why they was like should be better. And even even when he explained it, Mula then said, oh, I apologize. And, I, and I, he was giving an apology. And I don't feel like he was giving an apology because he felt bad. I feel like he just know that he low-key is really DL. And it's like, you really sit up here trying to get into all the people and you low-key probably sucked a couple dicks in your life. Like, wow, nigga. Like, did he really have to sit back and be like, damn, he explained this shit, breaking this shit down. And it's like, I know I'm wrong. Even though I'm going to keep saying it, I'm, I'm, I'm right the whole time. But now you wanna, the fact that you now turn around and say, oh yeah, I'm wrong. You knew you was wrong in the beginning. <laughs> like, you knew you was wrong when it was happening. Like, you wanna sit around and be like, oh, oh, now I owe him an apology for bitch. When you first brought it up, you brought it up on a, out of a place of bitch, I'm, I'm, bitch, I'm wrong. Bitch, I don't like this shit and I feel like a way about it. So now all of a sudden you wanna have a whole little turnaround. Like, no. So that's why on the docket, give me, give me the dick. Draco, give it, give it to me. Let me see. Stop biting it. Give it to me. You just bit this shit up. Look at this. This is why you was this is why you was where you was at. Cause you do shit like this. Back up. No dick. So in conclusion, Mula is definitely DL. A DL queen, a DL. Stop! <laughs> so that's it for the video. Um, I just wanted to really break it down for y'all what I feel like was happening in that scene. Cause a lot of people was talking about it and saying that like, you know, they feel like a way about him and his standpoint. And a lot of straight niggas was definitely, I see like backing him up like, oh yeah, he, he just a bad for doing some shit like that. Cause you know, you, know, you gotta make sure you around you know, your surroundings and stuff like that. So now like, I just wanted to make sure I had to say my piece on it. I do have other videos coming through. I will be talking about the Will and Jada Pickett thing next. And then I will be doing my reviews next. So do not feel like this is the it. This is not, I'm going to make a video and disappear for a couple months. You know, I do when I go places. So yeah, so I'll come soon. So with that being said, that's it for today's video. And say, no, Dick's Draco. That's it for today's video. And same gang, since we out.